So a class action lawsuit has now been launched in BC. This is against genetic testing company 23andMe after it was revealed that a data breach, breach exposed the private information of almost 7 million customers, talking about medical private information. These kinds of hacks are becoming more common, especially when it comes to DNA-related data. So what can be done to protect your information online? For a closer look, we are joined by technology analyst, Carmi Levy, good to have you with us, Carmi. Um, a concern morning, for a lot Amory. of people. Yeah, 23andMe hack was first revealed back in the fall in October, but this lawsuit has brought it into the fore again. Why is it so much worse than originally thought? Well, because originally, whenever a breach is announced, the companies try to minimize it. It's not that bad. The numbers aren't that big. In this case, the company said it was only about 14,000 users. But then there's the law. And in the U.S., you have to file with the U.S. Security and Ex Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, and when they filed those numbers a couple months later, just last week, uh, they grew 6.9 million. And it wasn't just login data. It was DNA-related information of who you're connected to, how you're connected to, much more personal, unchangeable information, uh, it was a lot worse both in scale and scope relative to what the company had first submitted in October. This is common in breaches like this. I always say, we're going to wait for the other shoe to drop because companies hope that they can just kind of, you know, poo-poo it, just kind of you know, just, you know, minimize the numbers, and then we'll all forget about it. And then a couple of months, the true numbers come out, and they are scary. You and I have spoken before about data breaches that happen here in Canada and about how, you know, companies are reticent to report or to announce when something like this has happened. They do want customers to know, but also then there's this brand and a, a trust issue that comes to, to the front. What other kinds of hacks have we seen so far this year? There's been some big ones. I mean, name your company, Anne-Marie. Yeah. I think we, we would spend less time talking yeah, about the companies that have not been breached. Exactly, right? Governments, uh, supermarkets, uh, your banks, insurance companies, pretty much any company that you deal with on a day-to-day -day -day basis, they have all been touched in some way. And if they haven't announced a breach, uh, they have been targeted by them. This is across the board. Uh, and that's the scary thing, is that hardly a day goes by that my feeds aren't filled with new reports of new breaches. Uh, and I Unfortunately, because we are digitally connected to all of these organizations every day, you can't live non-digitally. It's going to touch us all because all of these organizations are holding on to data uh, that you know it, we hold dear to ourselves. And of course, if they are compromised, we're compromised along with them. Go shopping at a Loblaws, for example. When they are breached, you're breached too. Yeah. You know, I've tried, uh, especially with healthcare records, to not do it digitally. I've asked that they that we not have to do it digitally. It's not an option. So then what it can isn't, clients so you do? Know. Yeah, what can clients do to protect themselves? I mean, you know, what you do is you take a look at the accounts that you have set up with whatever that organization is, uh, and you look at those settings and you make sure that you're using every last setting on it that can maximize your security. So are you using two-factor authentication? It isn't always turned on by default. Turn that on. Is encryption turned on? T turn that on as well. Make sure you're using it. Also, we need to disavow ourselves of the notion that, well, I'm not rich or famous enough. Who would be interested in my data? The sad truth of it is, is that all of our data is worth something uh, and it is probably being sold on the open market right now and being used against us. So uh, we're all potentially victims and there's no kind of line above which uh, uh, cyber criminals really care. They care about all of us and we really need to start thinking cybersecurity first when we use digital services like this, when we engage with companies, even when uh, we simply you know, go into a store and shop and we're using our cards, for example, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not doing the things that we need to do. We're reusing passwords. We're never changing them. We're using uh, easy to guess things like partner names and pet <laughs> names. Uh, and then we're sharing them with memes on social media. And all of these things put us at increased risk. We don't even realize it as it's happening. Yeah. And as you said, the why behind all of this is because it is becoming more lucrative. Hey, Carmi, thanks for coming on this morning. Appreciate it, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.